unhinged, a word used to describe Boeing's aircraft door, and the corporate incentive plans. SEC filings reveal Boeing's annual incentive plan changed from rewarding quality and safety to rewarding people hitting DEI and climate targets. Elon Musk dishes out a warning posting, quote, do you want to fly in an airplane where they prioritize DEI hiring over your safety? Join us now, Freedom Works Chief Economist and Committee to Unleash Prosperity co-founder, the great Steve Moore. Steve, good to see you. And it seems like, obviously, this is a dangerous business when you uh, are focused on, uh, focused on DEI and maybe less focused on engineering and safety, which you should be when you build airplanes, which people can die in. Yeah, you better believe it. And, you know, does anybody want to get in an airplane and think, hey, I wonder if this pilot was chosen because he's got the best skills or because of this you know, person's sexual orientation or race or, uh, you know, gender or whatever it is, all these other factors that don't have anything to do with performance. We, we just move, need to move towards a situation where people are uh, hired and also promoted on the basis of their merit. I mean, this is an, that's all American, right? You, anybody can succeed, anybody can, can rise. And you know, it's, to some extent, all this focus on DEI, I think has created a great uh, backlash. The big story of 2023 in corporate America was what happened with Bud Light. I think Americans are sick of it. They wanna get back to the old fashioned idea that we judge people by who they are. But the Bud Light issue is a one-off. Uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and all that it brings with it is so deeply buried in these corporations, Steve. I know for a fact that people, like friends of mine who are surgeons and teach in medical schools, mm -hmm. are dealing with students who should not be in medical school. And uh, Again, it's at Boeing, That's if scary. you say you're non-binary, yeah. it doesn't matter if you know a bolt from a dolt. Because Lockheed's executives had to go to uh, white male diversity training or like white male privilege training. Uh, it's, it's insanity, but they're not giving it up. You know, uh, we're, we're not going to succeed as a country. We're not going to retain our status as the world the economic power if, if our companies are hiring on, on the basis of factors other than what they can do and whether they can produce. And, you know, I, I, we saw in the recent weeks, right, where Harvard, we saw what happened at Harvard and what's happening now in these Ivy League schools and how perverted they are in terms of the way they look at America and make decisions. And I think you're, what you're talking about, Hagan, I think Americans are less aware of, which is this is also infected corporate America culture yeah. too, the boardrooms. The, and, and you know, you, whether it's ESG, and by the way, ESG is more the climate change stuff, but then this diversity equity thing where you're not choosing the people on the basis of who they are. And by the way, I, someone told me the other day, because I used the term colorblind, did you know that that's considered a racist term now? <laughs> It is, Steve, so don't yes, use I'm it, okay? I'm serious. Don't you, of course it is. <laughs> you got to get with the times. That's, that's racist. By the way, we want American excellence, and American excellence always came from merit, not from these DEI strategies. But let's move to this because $4.3 million per year, Steve. No, that's not how much John Kerry spends on fuel for his private jet, but how much you, the taxpayer, pays towards staffing his office. But... Who those people are exactly is hush-hush, we can't know, as his office refuses to disclose who works for our climate czar. And Steve, what frustrates me is he may not want to tell the Congress or America, but they could, if, if they're actually doing the budgetary process, they could have limiting funds to say no money goes to the climate czar, but you actually have to budget and pass bills to actually get that language in. And by the way, guess what? If you're going to limit his funding, he, they would, he would actually come out and say, this is how I spend the money and this is who works for me. But Congress has to get their act, act together to get that information to come out. Well, it sure does. And, and look, there's a $380 billion green energy slush fund in our budget. Uh, and Lord knows where that's going. But it's, you know, the, we're not making a lot of progress in green energy. So it's, I think, going to a lot of the, it's a slush fund. It's going to Democratic uh, organizations. And uh, come on, we're running a $2 trillion annual deficit. They say they can't find ways to cut spending. Um, this is a time where we just get back to using whatever energy source is, is best for America. Again, it gets down to whether we're going to be competitive as a country. We got we to let our companies use the best 
fuel source that they can, or we're going to end up like California with brownouts, blackouts, and people literally, you know, having to turn the lights off. Steve Moore, thank you so much for that. Great to see you, as always. Okay, you too. Unhinged, unhinged, incentive, incentive, climate, climate, dish out, dish out, orientation, orientation, merit, merit, backlash, backlash, inclusion, inclusion, privilege, privilege, retain, retain. Perverted, perverted, climate czar, climate czar, budgetary, budgetary, slush fund, slush fund, brownout, brownout, blackout, blackout. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you for watching.